Hi there everyone, this is Eileen from Northern Light Tarot. Uh, this uh, reading is titled You and Them, The Next 48 Hours. So we're looking into the energies between you and the person that's on your mind, okay, over the, you know, the, the rest of the weekend and going into Monday. So all you need to do is imagine this person in your mind, just create a picture of them. And then choose between set of cards number one, set of cards number two, or set of cards number three. So I'll just give you a moment to do that. Okay, so now I'm just gonna place aside set of cards number two and set of cards number three. And go ahead now with set of cards number one. So we're looking into the energies between you and this person that you're thinking about over the next 48 to 72 hours. Before I get started with this reading, um, I'd just like to mention if you'd ever like a highly personalised <clears throat> video recorded reading with me, I have three different choices and types of readings. Um, one of them uh, is my same day reading, which is available within 24 hours. Um, and all of the details to book via Etsy or PayPal are in the description box below. And also, <clears throat> I always forget to say it, but if you like this video, please like, um, please share and please subscribe. That'd be lovely, uh, you know, if, if you'd like to. So we're looking into the energy between you and this person that you're thinking about over the next 48 or so hours. So this card here represents you and your energies. This card here represents them and their energies. Your feelings towards them, their feelings towards you, and your past together. Okay. So what I'm seeing here, I, I'm seeing deep regret, okay? Um, I, I'm seeing two kind of like two opposing forces that, that, that you, it's kind of like you both want the same outcome but you, you're kind of like in different places right now. Th this is what I'm seeing. You're being represented by the emperor so you know you could um, very strongly be an Aries or a fire sign. Um, you don't need to be uh, at all but you are very focused and very determined here and I feel like you're really seeking uh, stability with this person that's on your mind uh, and you could very well have been in a relationship before. Um, you know, here's you being represented by the Emperor energy and your energy towards them, the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is, you know, it's the card of ho homecomings reunions and celebrations and it's kind of like for some of you I get the message you just want them to come home okay um you want them to come back to you uh you you desperately uh you know want this reconnection uh, that's what I'm getting they could very strongly be a fire sign as well okay seeing that very strongly they also could very strongly be water energy Pisces Scorpio Cancer uh, they're being represented by the five of cups um, and you know you just look at this person on the card they're looking down um, they're looking very sad and you know really heartbroken at these cups of love that have literally fallen over um, but what they what they can't see in your connection right now is that the love between you is is really worth fighting for here. Um, most definitely, that this is a strong message that there's definitely still love between you two, and then their energies towards you, the two of pentacles. We've got Earth energy in here as well. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be one of those signs. Um, and you know, just it's kind of like the energy I'm getting. It's just the thought of you really sort of upsets them right now, and it just throws them off balance. And I just see, I feel like they're just they are really really devastated. I don't know whether they're showing this to you right now. 
Um, but they are, they feel very emotional. Um, and the reason I say they may not be showing this to you is in your past position, we have the Six of Pentacles. This, this Six of Pentacles is the card of charity. It is the card of give and take. But it, it's not always like that. It can it can really symbolize this person here who's, you know, got all the power, just, you know, not giving very much, okay? So, so bear that in mind. Um, but as much as they may not be sharing with you right now, um, the, the, they are feeling very, very devastated. That That is very much the energy I'm getting there, okay? Uh, let's take a look at the present position, the future position, the outcome card. And this is a new addition for me. This is a card from the Witch's Wisdom Oracle deck. I fell in love with this deck. Um, it has some beautiful messages and... Uh, you know, the, uh, the the depictions on the cards are, are incredible. So what do you have? Containment here. Ah, okay. So there you go. I just want to show you this because it's just so beautiful. Um, the artwork on it is incredible. But, you know, we need to get back to this reading. So what, what you've got here now is that they are containing their feelings. It, it's as simple as that. Uh, they, they are, they are, they've firmly got a lid on their feelings, they are not, they are not, you're in their hopes, wishes and dreams, but they are kind of like, with this King of Wands energy, they are sort of, you know, the King of Wands is a wonderful energy, um, but it's somebody who's really, can really want control as well, okay, um, and I just sense that they're, they're, they're holding it all in too much with this King of Wands energy. That, that's just the energy I'm getting from this card. It doesn't usually come through that way with the King of Wands. But because we have this containment card here, this is what I'm seeing. But I do sense, you know, you know, this, this, this reading is about the energies between you two. And the energies are very, very strong. You know, in the, in the future position here. We've got the Nine of Cups. This is, you know, this is beautiful energy. The Nine of Cups is just all about um, wishes and dreams coming true. And it's in your energy together. And I do feel that going into the future, you know, there's, there's beautiful possibilities for you two. I don't see anything shifting in the next 48 hours because we have this Five of Cups energy and Two of Pentacles, okay? That's why I don't see, I don't see like any physical movement. I, I'm not, th th there's a possibility with this judgment card, okay? This is the card of rebirth. So for some of you, this person is suddenly going to take the lid off, okay? Um, and and the, the feelings are going to come pouring out. But for others of you, this is a slower process because we do have this containment card here, Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm very much seeing um, a, a previous connection of some description between you two. I want to take three cards now to, you know, just to uh, clarify this. They could be at a distance from you. Have they had to go somewhere else? Have they moved away from you? I'm seeing that that energy's coming through. It could have been for work. And you, you, uh, yeah, maybe you, you couldn't go with them. Or maybe they, maybe, or maybe they just, uh, left, but very, very reluctantly. That, that's what I'm getting here. Let's take three cards. But there's feelings being contained. And I feel that's on both sides as well. You're both holding holding fire and you know with this containment card it can be that there's a, a reason for that right now and that it might even be the best way to be I feel that's for you especially um that there's a re that, that now isn't the time for you to go towards them with with this containment card it can be very much about as well you it, it, it not being the best choice right now for you to go towards them Ace of Pentacles, the Empress, Nine of Pentacles, yes, definitely not the right time for you to go towards them. 
um, we've got this Empress energy and the Pentacles energy. And, uh, you know, when I see the Empress, I also see the Nine of Pentacles. When I see the Nine of Pentacles, I see the Empress. So I'm seeing double Empress energy for you here. And it's about you, you know... Look, you know, look what we've got for you now. We've got the Emperor, the Empress, and the Nine of Pentacles. It's about you taking charge of your life right now. I do feel that there's an offer going to come in from them, okay? Just not yet. In the meantime, you step into your beauty, your power, and your abundance, okay? Um, so there we go. Um, that, uh, I think... Uh, yeah, that, that, that's an incredible reading. Uh, what I've decided to do is um, I've got another free reading, YouTube reading. Um, it's titled, Does He or She Love Me? Um, and it's timeless. So I've decided to link that as the first link below. If, if you would, you know, if this resonated for you, you really might enjoy, uh, you know, taking a look at that. Uh, reading as well. So um, I hope you found this helpful. Uh, if you did, uh, if you did, uh, I'd really appreciate it if you would like and share and subscribe. I'd be really, really grateful. Okay then, I'm now going to move on to set of cards number two. So now I'm moving on to set of cards number two. And the title of this reading is You and Them, The Next 48. So it may be slightly over. Um, apologies in advance. I just get so snowed over, snowed under rather, that um, it, I, I, sometimes I'm a little bit out, outside of that 48-hour um, period. So apologies for that. But it's never by very, very much. Um, so I'm just going to place these cards down now. You and them, the energies for the next 48 hours. Um, before I get started, I'd quickly like to mention, if you'd ever like a highly personalised video recorded reading with me, have three different types of reading, at all at different prices. Um, you know, start in from say fifteen pounds, and um, and then the tiers go up, and the the readings become more in depth, um, and you can ask more questions, uh, and the longer as well the readings. Uh, I also offer a same day reading, so delivery within twenty four hours. So if you would like to book a reading with me, uh, all of the details are in the description box below. You can book via PayPal or via Etsy. But right now, I really want to get along with this reading. So I'll just explain the cards. You and your energies in this connection, them and their energies in this connection. Your feelings towards them, their feelings towards you, your past together, present together, future together, and the outcome card. But, you know, the focus being on the energies and what may happen over the next 48 hours. I also have introduced a new deck, which I absolutely love. Um, this deck is the from the Witches... Which, sorry, the name of this deck is the Witches Wisdom Oracle. And it, 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 the, the, the cards themselves are beautiful. The, the, the artwork is beautiful. But the messages are very, very powerful. Extremely powerful. Um, so I, I just I couldn't wait to to uh, start to use these. <clears throat> so <clears throat> let's go ahead with this reading. Um, you and your energies, them and their energies. So uh, what I want to do now is just take the past position. Okay. So I'm getting straight away that, that you two could actually have um, you two could have lived together. Um, uh, you two uh, had a very, or if you didn't, you two had an extremely solid connection, okay? I kind of get the energy that you were all that you could ever want. Or, you know, even if you've never been in a connection, you're still all that you could ever want from each other. That's what I'm getting. But there's, there's a disconnect here, okay? Um, you know, you're being represented by the Four of Swords, uh, you know, and this is the card of retreat, recovery, 
However, it, it does represent renewal in the situation. But right now, I just feel your exhaustion, okay? You've literally, you're just lying down. It's, I feel like you just, you, you, you can't take any more right now, okay? that That's just the energy that's coming through. <clears throat> and they're being represented by the Ten of Wands. And, you know, to a degree, it, it's kind of similar energy, um, it's it's kind of just feeling very very weighed down. I'm feeling like the like this burden and just the need for you to to literally you know literally like I'm not saying that you should disconnect from each other right now, but there needs to be a point when you start to look after yourself, okay? And th there's there's some heavy energy here associated, okay? I, I'm I'm just going to say it like it is. There's definitely heavy energy, um, you know, and it's all about, it's all in your mind, and it's, but it's also very energetic. It's in your day-to-day -day energies. It's kind of like, I just see physical and mental exhaustion, both sides, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. Um, in this connection, <clears throat> Eight of Cups and Seven of Pentacles. I feel like you two, you desperately want to sort this out. You're desperately trying. And it, it's kind of like, I, I see that, you know, sometimes people just don't understand each other. And, you know, this can be a major, major reason why relationships go go wrong, okay, is that there's there's just this uh lack of uh, and it's nobody's fault it's just that people aren't understanding the other person's intention or it comes down to just words the way people even look at each other people are you know i just get the energy with you two that you two could have had a lot of rubbish go on like kind of individually in your own pasts and you could possibly be bringing it into this relationship, okay? Um, because I see um, that you, you just both battle worn, and and you just need you just don't feel like you can do much about the situation right now. That that's what I'm getting, okay? Um, there's there's definitely love between you two. There's no doubt about that. Um, but there's a disconnect and. You know, your being your energy towards them is the eight of cups, and the eight of cups is literally needing to emotionally detach from them right now, especially with this four of, of swords here. You know, um, that 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 you know it's self-explanatory. I can I can really see just, but I can see the love. That the love is so real. You know, and and there's frustration as well. But sometimes you just have to let go. And I feel like for now, just in this like little interim here, um, in this moment, both of you are, you know, like with them towards you, the seven of pentacles, they really wanna they really wanna work this out. They they really wanna sort it out, but it just feels like that they're, they're walking through um, you know, they're, they're walking really slowly, you know, when you're in a dream and, and you're trying to run, but you like going in slow motion. It's kind of like that's the energy I'm getting that it feels like walking in, is it, we could say treacle, you know. It's kind of like you're really trying, but you're just not connecting right now. Yeah. So let, let's take a look at the present. Very solid, though. Oh, beautiful. Um, so th there's... There's a solidity in your connection, you know, that is like treacle. Let's put it that way. Um, it's very solid. It's very long lasting. Uh, you two are gonna, I just do sense you two, yeah, coming back together here. Or if you've never been in a relationship, it's slow and steady wins the race. We've got the page of cups going into the, into the future. So I'm definitely sensing that, you know, that's, that's, I feel it's them giving you an offer. See the way this page is pointed in this direction towards you. Uh, they're, they're definitely coming towards you. That, that's what I'm seeing here. And, um, you know, there's an array of different star signs in this reading. That's what I haven't mentioned. This is for a lot of people out there. Okay, we've got fire energy. We've got cups energy. 
we've got pentacles energy and we've got swords energy all the way across the bottom so that's telling me this is for any of you out there okay um most definitely and what i love is in the outcome position we do have the three of pentacles and this is the card of two people you know like literally coming together okay collaboration working it out so i don't know if it's going to happen in the next 48 could do for some of you but there's an offer coming towards you from this person you're thinking about okay um oh and then we have the homecoming card oh incredible there's fantastic possibilities for you too and if you know if if you were living together and now you're not it looks as though they're coming home okay um especially with this three of pentacles we've got lots of earthy energy here we've got love and manifestation with with the pentacles energy i really really love that um that's really incredible so uh, that's been set of cards number two i'm now going to move on to set of cards number three So now I'm moving on to set of cards number three. The title of this reading is You and Them, the next 48 hours. What could happen? What are the energies between you two? What are the feelings between you two? Um, is anything going to physically manifest? You know, um, what is literally going to happen? Let, let's take a look. I'm just going to place the cards down now. And uh, before I get started, uh, I'd like to mention, uh, if you'd ever like a highly personalised video recorded reading with me, have three different types of readings, all at different prices, um, and all the details to book are in the description box below. I also have a reading that's available to you within 24 hours of booking. So yeah, you can book via Etsy or PayPal. All the details in the description box below. But right now, I really want to get along with this reading, you and them, the next 48. And uh, I'll just explain the positions of the cards, you and your energies, them and their energies, your feelings towards them, their feelings towards you, your past, present, future together, and the outcome card, not to be taken in the literal sense but to be interpreted. And a new addition for, for me here, which I absolutely love. Um, this is an oracle card from the uh, Witch's Wisdom Oracle deck. And the artwork is spectacular. More importantly, the messages are very, very powerful and profound. So, uh, you know, I absolutely love, love, love this deck. Um, so, there we go. So that's going to be the, the oracle card for this reading. So let's take a look into your connection. You and your energies. Them and their energies. Your feelings towards them. Their feelings towards you. And the past position. Okay, there's, there's most certainly a, a very solid boundary between you two uh, i'm getting that there's, there's been suspicion there could have been some sort of jealousy involved um that the, there's there's stubbornness without a doubt okay um and i'm sensing it's it's them who's really really stubborn okay i say this because we've got this nine of wands here in in the uh, past position and you know, as much as with this chariot energy, they really want to come towards you, okay? Because this is the card of determination and focus that they're not, okay? Because then the energy towards you is the hermit card. And so they are literally, they are, they are very up and down at the moment. They, uh, they can't make a decision. They want to make a decision. They want to come towards you, but then they, they retreat. So in their head, that they, they've got literally got a head full of tigers right now, okay? Um, 
I feel that, you know, what I'm seeing here is there could well have been a split, okay? There's been, you know, it doesn't matter who this person is in your life, but there's, there's you know, you've been really, really hurt, okay? Um, I can see that very clearly. You're being represented by the Ten of Swords. You know, f for you and this person that you're thinking about, did, do you feel like they did you wrong? Did, do you feel like they, they really betrayed you, okay? Um, I'm certainly getting that with that Ten of Swords. Um, and... The, I feel as well you're very much in two minds here as well because like part of you wants to I feel like part of you wants to forgive but part of you can't and part of you feels like it should be over but part of you won't let go that's what I'm getting here with this this death energy um I just yeah I'm getting all sorts of emotions for you with that energy uh let's take a look at the present future, outcome, okay, I feel, you know, the energy that I'm getting for you, okay, because this, this, yeah, you're the ten of swords, okay, you could be an air sign, uh, you don't need to be, but you could be, I, I'm getting messages for you that you need to in the next 48 hours, at the very least, you need to really, really, really look after your heart and your mind, okay? You've got to do that because I feel like the, there's some devastation for you here. Um, it, the, your, your guides want you to know that you are protected, okay? They want you to um, really, really look after yourself right now. And you know it's a hard thing to say but sometimes it's you can't live in the emotion all the time okay you just can't do it because if you lived in the emotion of ever uh, uh, of the of of relationships and the way they can go literally like tits up basically you know there's no better way to put it um if you lived in the emotion of that um you you, you would be destroyed okay so what I'm getting for you here is please, please um, do whatever it takes to look after yourself right now, to, to do whatever it takes. Honestly, you know, it's coming through really, really strongly. I feel this person um, <clears throat> that you're thinking about, they are going to come towards you. I don't know if it's going to be in the next 48 hours, but they are going to come back towards you. But I feel like that you've been really, really hurt here and you need to start thinking about what, how did they hurt you? And, you know, did you deserve that? Okay, you've got the King of Swords here. It's about you. It's like sometimes you have to let your mind take over your heart space for a while to, to survive, okay? That's very, very strongly what I'm getting for you here. I'm getting that right now you should be really kind of working on yourself, Okay, I feel like this person is going to come back towards you, but with this page of wands energy, there could be a lot of immaturity with them, okay, and they just don't get it. I feel like they they, they don't get what they've done, they just don't understand. Um, and you've got what we've got here, and I, I love this it's it's the uh, the, the guardian familiar. Surround yourself with what's familiar and what makes you feel um a peace okay um that's what you need to do right now surround yourself with the people that you know love and care about you um and love yourself that is majorly what i'm getting here for you you need to love yourself right now okay uh, be your own guardian um uh Imagine if if what was happening to you now had happened to somebody you care about, okay? Would you allow them to put up with it, okay? This is this is like the energy that I'm getting, and this really wants to pop out. This person is going to come back towards you, okay? Four of Cups, um, but is is it the right time? You know, nature. It's, I, I know it sounds silly, but, you know, with this Guardian card, it's about, it's about you getting, getting yourself back into balance and nature, you know, um, if you've got a cat or a dog, take, you know, take your dog for a walk, 
give your cat a cuddle and a stroke because that's healing energy. Okay. Let's take two more. Oh, I'm not going to take all of those out. We did have the Page of Pentacles there. So that could be a step up from the Page of Wands. <clears throat> Let's take two more. Time. Yeah, it's about getting really getting back into balance here. Okay, uh, you know, this person is going to come back towards you, but you need to really, you know, take heed of this temperance energy. This is about bringing yourself completely back into balance and harmony. Okay, um, you know, really take care of yourself, um, most definitely. Uh, and, you know, with this Ace of Wands, it's, it's, it's about, and I feel this is for you, it, it's kind of like about you trying to look at this from another angle, okay? Try and uh, kind of like, yeah, just approach this whole situation from a new angle. That's what I'm getting, okay? Because the what, what's been happening... Um, oh, that wanted to pop out. <laughs> That's incredible. Um, yeah, it's about you realising that you matter too with the Ace of Wands in the World card, okay? It's your world as well. And you deserve to be happy in this world, okay? So that is overwhelmingly the energy that's come through uh, for this reading. Um, so... It, this person's going to come back towards you very unexpectedly, okay? But in the meantime, please, please, uh, you know, really look after yourself right now. Um, what I've decided to do is put a, a, another free reading in, the, in the, the link in the description box below. It's entitled, uh, Does He or She Love Me? It's a, another one of my free YouTube readings. And I just thought, you know, with this reading, it just might be... Um, a really nice follow on, um, you know, uh, reading for you. Um, so, you know, for those of you this does resonate with, um, I just want to say, you know, things always do get better. Nothing stays the same, okay? You're not going to stay in this Ten of Swords energy, okay? You're absolutely not, especially with this Ace of Wands up here, okay? And the Eight of Pentacles going forwards. Um, things are going to shift, you know, the Ten of Swords is a card of completion. And with this Death card here as well, it really does strongly suggest that there's certainly transformation as regards you you with them or just in the way you're viewing this whole situation, okay? And it, then it gets really good no matter what, okay? So there we go. If you uh, found this reading helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you'd like share and subscribe to my channel. Okay, I'll be back in approximately 48 hours. Take care. Bye for now.